The second heat tonight, the fifth of the series, matched the Victorian LeBellant against South Australia's number one prospect in this championship, Gov's Pride, another horse driven by Jim Hurley. They'd drawn the two best positions, but LeBellant, with a time trial time of 1 minute 57 seconds dead, was the favoured horse. The others in the field at 4, 5 and the 6, 3, 4, 5 and 6 were Distant Thunder, Not Before Time, New Derwent and a Smooth Dave. Here again is George Grilicic. Moving off now for the uh, fifth heat of the Inter Dominion. From the inside, we have Gubbs Pride from South Australia, La Bellant Victoria, Distant Thunder from Victoria, Not Before Time from South Australia, New Derwent, South Australia, and Smooth Day from New South Wales. Approaching the start point now, about 10 metres before the start. And there's the blue, they're off and racing. Gubbs Pride has begun fast on the inside, and the Victorian Lapellant going very quickly from two in search of the lead, then Distant Thunder. Dropping in behind them, not before time. Second last in the race, New Derwent, and Smooth Day, which drew the extreme outside, has gone back to last. A great race, race for the lead down the back for the first time. It's Lapellant by a length. Gubbs Pride trying to hold him out, and Lapellant still hasn't crossed. And they've got away by six or seven lengths here from Distant Thunder, followed by not before time, and further back, New Derwent and Smooth Day. And uh, Lapellant eventually has crossed to the rail, but the driver's taken hold of it now and they blistered through the first quarter in a very fast time there of about 28 and a half seconds. LeBellant in front but he's being slowed down coming to the bell. Gov's Pride is second and Distant Thunder try to make ground but Gov's Pride has come off the rail. Distant Thunder running third. You do went back on the fence then not before time and the length of the half further back behind them. Smooth Dave about a dozen metres off the lead. 900 metres to run. They get the bell and come down towards the judges box and LeBellant in front by half a length from Gov's Pride and on the inside Distant Thunder then not before time and as they go through the half mile and just over the minute, so that second quarter of the race was run in slow time and LaBellant should spring quickly in the last 400 metres of the race. Going over towards the back straight with about 700 left to run or just under, LaBellant in front from Gov's Pride, the South Australian running a tough race on the outside, is throwing the gauntlet down as they go to the 600 metre mark and is level with the leader. Then a length of the half back on the inside. In next position is Distant Thunder being covered by not before time and then Smooth Dave and three quarters of the length further back behind them, New Dowan. It's a Great race going to the turn off the back straight now. And as they go through the three-quarter in the fast time of about 1.31, Gov's Pride has taken the lead. Gov's Pride by about a half a length from LeBellant, who looks to be beaten. Uh, coming up around the outside with a strong run is not before time. Right off the course is Smooth Dave and back between horses under the whip, Distant Thunder. And New Derwent is last. Inside the 200 metre mark, it's Gov's Pride the leader. Not before, down, down, down the outside, not before time. Coming up the claiming, Gov's Pride battling back on the inside, but not before time. The South Australians go to the post and not before time has won it by a long head from Gov's Pride and the length back on the outside New Derwent another South Australian a clean sweep there for South Australia Distant Thunder is fourth, Smooth Dave is fifth last to finish is the favourite Victorian Taser LeBellant this was a beautifully judged drive by Ross Adams behind Not Before Time, the New South Wales pacer to win this heat. He sat back in the field and allowed Gov's Pride and LeBellant to meddle with the pace early and then seized on the opportunity when it presented itself to go down the centre of the track and claim Gov's Pride very close to the finishing line. Although it was a good performance from Gov's Pride to hold on, he'd done a lot of uh, the hard work early in the race and it was a courageous performance by him to get as close to the winner as he eventually did. The numbers in heat five, four, one and five, number four, not before time from New South Wales, driven by Ross Adams. Second, number one, Gov's Pride from South Australia. And third, number five, New Derwent, also from South Australia. And the time in that heat, two minutes, 1.2 seconds, nothing very spectacular about that.